Yes, guys, Germany, 2-0 win today. I'm, you guys, I'm in my car. I'm not home this weekend with my little setup, my little camera, my little microphone. I'm at the girlfriends this weekend, but I got to get my thoughts out here on this game. 2-0 win, quarterfinals, here we come. Germany, come on, boys, los gets, los gets, man. What a nerve-wracking game today. Our first win in a knockout turn, our first knockout win since Euro 2016. Let that sink in. Our first win in a knockout, our first win in knockout football since 2016. That's crazy. Today, 2-0 win. Musiala, second goal. Havertz with the penalty. A little scare with the Denmark goal. Super, super close offsides. But that's how brutal the game is. Anderson goes from scoring a goal and getting Denmark in the lead in the Signal Iduna Park against the host Germany to a minute later causing the penalty that will eventually start the end of Denmark's tournament at this Euros. And yeah. The penalty is harsh a little hit, but his arm is out, guys. It's a textbook penalty call. His arm is out. It hits his hand in the box. Life of a defender. I see people complaining. I see the Denmark coach complaining, oh, two VAR decisions, two VAR decisions decided this game. But cry about it all you want. Those are the rules. Cry about it all you want. Those are the freaking rules, man. Today's game was nervy. You could tell those players were a little nervous. We started the game off so well. First 15, 20 minutes. Attack, attack, attack. You know, in the first 15 minutes, a Kimmich shot. We thought Havertz, we thought Nico Schlotterbeck scored, which was, I thought it was a, I thought the goal should have stood, but then once I saw the replay and Kimmich, the foul Kimmich did, it was 100% right call to not give that goal. But it is a little stupid from Kimmich. Schlotterbeck had already lost his man and Kimmich got in the way and, you know, that could have been a goal if Kimmich didn't do the foul because Schlotterbeck would have scored it either way. So it is what it is. A couple minutes later, Kimmich had a fantastic shot Kasper Schmeichel great save today's man of the match for me you know Rudiger got man of the match 100% the best player out there for Germany today but Kasper Schmeichel was keeping Denmark in this game we could have Germany you guys we could have scored five goals today seriously and once we got those first and second goals he saved so many chances seriously um so we had that chance Kai, you know then there was the you know the pause for the weather 20 minute pause we come back Kai Havertz again misses a point blank header. And yeah, we go into the half 0 0. We come out. Second half, two big chances right away in the second half. Then Denmark, the whole VAR ha happens. Then we get the penalty. It's 1 0. Havertz, for the amount of chances this guy missed, that was a fantastic penalty, Kai. Kai, that was a fantastic. You guys, that's the perfect penalty. Literally in the inside of the post, good power, low. It's everything a coach wants from a penalty. It's everything a fan wants to see from a penalty kick taker. So Kai Havertz, great hit to put us up 1-0. But let's be honest, guys. I know Kai Havertz, you know, he did this celebration because he knows people are talking about him. But Kai Havertz, you missed. Kai Havertz, you could have had four goals today. And the fact is, you came away with one, and that one was a penalty. How about the three or four other chances you had where you were one-on-one -on, -one on goal and you had the point-blank header? How about those chances, Kai? Because if Fulkrug gets that header, guys, Niklas Fulkrug scores that. Niklas Fulkrug scores that header. So I still think there's question marks around the striker position. Don't get me wrong. Havertz today was a little better. He was getting in good positions. He was linking up. And eventually we saw Fulkrug come on and Gundogan went off. And Kai Havertz actually played as the 10 for a bit, which was going pretty well, pretty decently. But at that phase of the game at 2-0, Denmark was attacking so much. The game got a little crazy. But we defended well. We kept the clean sheet. Manuel Neuer is going to be very happy about it. Neuer made some key saves today too. End of the first half. Blocked Rasmus Hoyland who was in on a counter. And in the second half, Rasmus Hoyland had a really good chance himself. But Neuer stood tall and uh, and made the save. So yeah, and the second, game from, second goal from Jamal Musiala today. Wow. Jamal. This is what I want to see. Composure. Because you guys, I guarantee you if Leroy Sané was in that position today. If that was Kai Havertz who Nico Schlotterbeck passed that ball to. We don't score that goal to make it 2-0. Musiala doing what I asked for him. You guys, Musiala has the technique. He has that ability for, you know, to take players on. Everyone wants to watch him get the ball and play. But he has sometimes lacked in being clinical. Today, he took that ball. Nico Schlotterbeck, great game today. He had one huge mistake in the first half where he lost the ball in his own box, right? But outside of that, Nico Schlotterbeck was fantastic today. Almost scored. 
Will did score and it was called off by Schlotterbeck. Fantastic ball over the top to Musiala. Musiala controls, keeps composure, scores. 2-0, game over, quarterfinals. And tomorrow, let's see. Spain plays Georgia. Everyone's assuming it's going to be Spain. You guys, there's going to be one surprise already. There's going to be one surprise in these uh, knockout stages. Can Georgia do the surprise on Spain? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. So, you know, everyone's assuming we're going to play Spain in that quarterfinal, but let's wait and see. You know, I'm happy. You guys, coming again, you guys, remember, coming into this tournament, a couple months ago, no one was interested in Germany. No one was, no one was taking us seriously. Everyone thought we're still finished. I had my, I had my questions about this team. I thought we would get second in the group. I thought we could potentially get grouped, but we are now in a quarterfinal and let's go. Now getting to that final is a, re is realistic. Getting to that final is realistic. Although say we do get to the semis, we most likely come up against a France. That's a big boy game. But if this team could just keep winning, Tony Cruz keep playing the way he is. Rudiger still playing the way he is. Listen, Ta, I know you were the starting center back, but Schlotterbeck's performance today, guys, that was the best game I've ever seen Nico Schlotterbeck ever play. Ever. Even when he was at Freiburg, even at Dortmund, that was the best game I've ever seen Nico Schlotterbeck play. Seriously. He was hyping up the Dortmund, uh, the Dortmund crowd. Amazing. Raum gets his first start of the tournament over Mito's shot. Great game from Raum. Great, great game. Kimmich, solid always. Neuer making the saves. If... Andrish is not going to be suspended. His yellow card gets wiped now. If these guys can still continue to play, the issue is for Germany right now, the attack isn't clicking right away in these games. If we could sort out this attack, then you guys, shh, it's possible. Shh, it's possible. I won't say anything. I won't say anything. Quarterfinals, here we come Thursday. Spain get the job done so we can have a heavyweight clash. But hey, Georgia, I ain't counting you guys out. Georgia, I, Georgia, I ain't counting you guys out. This is one Okage Puya. I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go, Germany. Let's freaking go. Peace.